Okay, now it's time to make our book, but first, a few decisions. So before we go into InDesign, I'm here on the Blurb website, and I just want to go over a few of the sizes and formats that you can choose. Uh, you can choose from anything from a 7 by 7 inch book, 8 by 10, 10 by 8. So it's going to show these to you here. And these all have beautiful paper and really beautiful color. You can also choose a bit of a more inexpensive option. You could choose a 5 by 8 or a 6 by 9 book. 6 by 9 books are very popular um, size trade book to the trade. Uh, that would be called. So it'll show you the prices here. You could also choose to do a magazine and it will show you the difference between an economy magazine and a premium magazine. The book that I'm going to make is going to be a 6x9 book, so I already know that. The second decision that you need to make are uh, the covers. So you have three different types of covers here and the first type of cover is a hardcover book with a dust jacket and everybody knows this kind of book it has the paper uh, wrapper on the outside and if you take the paper off you have a linen book cover uh, you can also choose the end sheets and the type of paper here my personal favorite is the image wrap book and the image wrap book is a book that has a full color hardcover but it wraps all the way around the book it seems a little puffy. I don't know if you know what I'm saying, but the, the there's no paper to get dusty or fall off or lose or anything like that. So this is another type of hardcover. Soft cover books are exactly what they sound like. It's a soft cover, so the cover is nice and floppy and is printed on a glossy cardstock to different, differentiate it from the pages. And these are also really, really beautiful. So I know that I'm definitely going to do a soft cover and I know that I'm going to do six by nine. So I'm almost ready. There's only one more question that you'll be asked when you go into InDesign and that's what kind of paper you want. And you can order a swatch kit and I do recommend that you do that. If you order the swatch kit, I think they're about $7 or $8 and they will refund you uh, all of the money when you order your book. So you're paying the $8 now, but when you uh, when you get your book, uh, when you order your book, they'll take that off. So that's pretty nice. And here's a listing of the different kinds of papers. And it's sort of hard to obviously pick a paper from a screen. So if you order a blurb swatch kit, uh, they'll send that to you in the mail. And it'll allow you to actually see the ink and touch the paper and... Um, know what you're buying. All right, now that we know uh, the format of our book and the cover that we want, we're going to come in here to InDesign and go to the file menu. Now, if you've installed the Blur plugin, like you should have already, you're going to see in the file menu, all the way down here, you're going to see the Blur book creator. You want to go ahead and click that. And that's going to open this great dialog box that lets you create both the pages and the cover from here. You can also upload the book from here. So let me walk you through this. We're going to make a new book and you probably won't have any of these here. These are all books that I've made and published with Blurb. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to fill in some of my details. And of course I'm going to have the title of my book. And here's where our decision making is going to pay off right here. So choose a book size. I know that I want six by nine, so I'm going to choose that. Now, this is a question uh, that you can, um, that they're going to ask if you want an ISBN number. And the ISBN number stands for International Standard Book Number. And if you plan on selling your book, then you will need one of these on the back of the book so that the book scans. And if you click this, they'll go ahead and assign you an ISBN number. So I definitely do want that. Here are the paper types, and I'm going to go with a standard color paper here. And here is the cover type, and I already know that I'm going to do a soft cover. The minimum amount of pages that you can have in a book is 24. Any less pages than that, and it's not really much of a book. So I'm going to leave it at 24. You can always add pages. And based on these pull-down menu uh, you know, um, input here, it's going to give you an approximation of how much this is going to cost. And, of course, that cost would go down 
uh, the more books that you would make. So now that I've put this in, I'm going to go ahead and go create pages template. And once I click that, uh, it's going to let me know that uh, it's going to put a, a ISBN barcode uh, holder on the back, and that's just fine. And um, it's going to ask me where I want to save this. So it's very, very important that, uh, of course, you have a folder already that we, we know we've got that folder with uh, our images and our text in it. So that's exactly where I'm going to put it. So here is my folder and I have all of my images and my text. So I'm going to go ahead and save it on in there. It's going to create the template. And voila, this is your book. So don't create the cover. You must wait till the very end. We'll get to that in a little bit. So I'm just going to click OK. And I can open my pages panel. And I can see all the pages of my book. And if I want to get started uh, designing and I don't want to see uh, the little notes here that shows the bleed and the trim and the magenta uh, um, sort of margins. I'm going to go over to layers and I'm going to turn that off and now you can just go right ahead and create your book.